Hey, snooker fans and sharpshooters! Some of you experts out there might know a few of these, but today we're breaking into the world of snooker with some facts you might not have heard yet. Let's dive right in. 1. The Origin of Snooker Did you know the term snooker comes from military slang? It was used to describe new or inexperienced cadets. In 1875, a British army officer, while stationed in India, adapted this slang for a new game he devised by blending elements from traditional billiards. The game emphasized strategic play and precision, reflecting the tactical skills that military training demanded. 2. Who invented snooker? It turns out snooker was the brainchild of Sir Neville Chamberlain, not the politician, but a British army officer serving in India back in 1875. He aimed to create a more challenging and engaging version of billiards. By incorporating colored balls and formulating new rules, he transformed what could have been just another billiards variant into a demanding sport that combines skill with deep strategic thought. 3. The First Official 147 Break Joe Davis, not Steve Davis, achieved the first official maximum break of 147 in snooker. This monumental feat occurred during the 1955 World Championship, setting a high standard for future players. It marked a pivotal moment in professional snooker, showcasing the extraordinary precision and skill required to achieve such a break. 4. Youngest Snooker World Champion Stephen Hendry made history by becoming the youngest snooker world champion in 1990 at the age of 21. His victory at such a young age not only highlighted his exceptional talent and determination, but also served as an inspiration for aspiring snooker players around the world, proving that youth is not a barrier to achieving greatness on the world stage. 5. Shortest Frame on Record Tony Drago set an extraordinary record at the 1996 UK Championship by completing the shortest frame in professional snooker history, lasting just under three minutes. His rapid style of play and quick decision-making skills allowed him to clear the table efficiently, demonstrating the fast-paced potential of snooker when played at an exceptional level. 6. Oldest World Champion in Snooker Ray Reardon was 45 when he captured his last world championship in 1978, making him the oldest snooker world champion in the history of the sport. His win at that age is a testament to his enduring skill and the timeless nature of snooker, where strategic thinking can often trump youthful agility. Reardon's career, spanning numerous victories, helped popularize and elevate snooker to new heights globally. 7. Longest Frame in Professional Snooker the longest frame in professional snooker history unfolded over a grueling 123 minutes during the 2017 World Championship qualifiers between Fergal O'Brien and David Gilbert. This record-breaking frame showcased the intense mental and physical stamina required in snooker, as both players battled for a crucial victory in one of the sport's most demanding matches. 8. First Televised 147 Break The first televised 147 maximum break was a landmark moment in snooker, accomplished by Steve Davis during the 1982 Lada Classic. This feat not only demonstrated Davis's exceptional skill and precision, but also played a significant role in popularizing snooker on television, attracting a broader audience and increasing the sport's visibility worldwide. 9. Snooker Tables Professional snooker tables are notably larger than those used for pool, measuring a substantial 12 feet by 6 feet. The size of the table adds to the complexity and skill level required in snooker, making it a game of intricate shots and strategic foresight. This distinguishes snooker as a discipline where precision is paramount, and the large playing surface challenges even the most experienced players. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Sponsorship and the Growth of Snooker Snooker was among the first sports to attract significant sponsorship from tobacco companies, notably during an era when the Embassy World Championship carried the brand's name. This influx of sponsorship in the 1970s and 1980s played a crucial role in the commercialization of snooker, contributing to its global expansion and professionalization, while also stirring debates about the influence of tobacco money in sports. 11. Q Sports Family Snooker is a proud member of the Q Sports family which also includes games like billiards and pool. These games share a common ancestry, but differ significantly in their rules and gameplay. 
Snooker, for instance, requires players to strike a sequence of colored balls in a predefined order, which adds a layer of strategic depth compared to pool. The inclusion of snooker in the wider family of Q sports highlights its rich heritage and the variety of skills required to master these table games. 12. Most World Championship Titles Stephen Hendry, a legend in the world of snooker, holds the record for the most world championship titles in the modern era, with seven victories. Hendry's dominance in the 1990s reshaped the sport, introducing a more aggressive style of play that influenced generations of players. His accomplishments not only cemented his place in snooker history, but also set a high benchmark for excellence that aspiring champions still strive to reach. Number 30. Prize Money Evolution The prize money for winning the Snooker World Championship has seen significant growth over the years. Today, the champion can expect to pocket over £500,000, a reflection of the sport's increased commercial appeal and professionalization. This substantial prize pool not only rewards the skill and dedication of the top players, but also highlights the lucrative opportunities available in competitive snooker, making the sport more appealing to emerging talents worldwide. 14. Whitewashing at the World Championship the World Championship has witnessed only two instances where a finalist failed to win a single frame, resulting in a whitewash. John Parrott in 1989 and Jimmy White in 1994 both faced this tough situation in the finals. These rare occurrences are particularly memorable in the annals of snooker, underscoring the pressure and intensity of competing at the highest level and the remarkable skill disparity that can exist even among the best players. Number 15. Longest Snooker Match the record for the longest snooker match belongs to the epic encounter between Cliff Thorburn and Terry Griffiths during the 1983 World Championship. Lasting an astonishing 14 hours and 50 minutes, this match tested the endurance and focus of both players to the extreme. Such marathon matches are rare in snooker, but highlight the mental and physical stamina required to compete at elite levels, where matches can extend over multiple sessions. 16. Colored Balls Each ball in snooker isn't just a target, it carries a specific point value, adding layers of strategy to the game. The black ball, valued highest at 7 points, often becomes the game-changer in tight matches. This scoring system injects a tactical depth into snooker, challenging players not only to point hot balls, but to strategize their sequence to maximize their score. Understanding the point value of each ball is crucial for planning breaks and can dramatically shift the dynamics of a match. Number 17. Heated Tables the primary reason for heating a snooker table is to minimize friction on the playing surface. Without heating, the table would become cold and damp during a tournament, resulting in an uneven surface that would be unsuitable for play. Maintaining a warm and dry table enhances the ball's movement, ensuring quick play and consistent performance. This brings us to the question of the optimal temperature for the heaters. Many might assume that 50 degrees would be excessively hot for play. However, due to the thickness of the slates used in snooker tables, the surface temperature is only about 20 degrees when the heat reaches the top. 18. Fastest 147 Ronnie O'Sullivan, a name synonymous with snooker genius, holds the record for the fastest 147 break, completed in just 5 minutes and 8 seconds during the 1997 World Championship. This feat not only showcases his incredible skill and quick decision-making, but also highlights the intense focus and precision required in snooker. O'Sullivan's record is a benchmark in the sport, often cited as one of the greatest moments in snooker history. Number 19. First Professional Woman Alison Fisher, known as the Duchess of Doom, was one of the first women to compete in professional snooker before transitioning to pool. Her pioneering presence in professional cue sports broke barriers and set a precedent for female participation at the highest levels. Fisher's success and transition have inspired countless other women to pursue careers in snooker and pool, demonstrating that skill knows no gender. Number 20. Ancient Roots Snooker's predecessor games can be traced back to the 16th century, evolving from various English billiard games. These ancient roots reflect the deep historical context of cue sports, which have been enjoyed by generations across centuries. Understanding snooker's origins helps us appreciate its development into the complex, globally recognized sport it is today, with a rich tradition that continues to evolve and captivate players and spectators alike. That's a wrap for this video. 
How many of these did you know? Let us know in the comments. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.